You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. Indie Card Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube. This is a Rich Bib right here, and welcome back to another Indie Card Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today, it's uh, going to be a recent release that we just got from Greenlight Collectibles, and what is possibly going to be the final 2017 car release for uh, Greenlight Collectibles. But before we do that, guys, I really just got to say what a great year has been for Greenlight Collectibles in 2017. We had a lot of great die casts and a good variety, guys. I mean, uh, man, I, I, and 2018 is just going to get any more better. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead as I'm going to show you guys the official die cast review of Joseph Newgarden's 2017 Hum Verizon 2017 Championship um, car that was driven by, of course, Joseph Newgarden in the Team Penske car. And um, yeah, guys, Team Penske, uh, another new champion driver for uh, this team. Um, we had Simon Pagano again from last year and Will Power from 2014, but now we got Joseph Newgarden, guys. So now all three IndyCar drivers who are currently in Team Penske have now won a championship. So pretty dominant right there. But um, I usually don't really go over the packaging, but man, we do got some really cool packaging that we got right there. Uh, we only get special packaging when it comes to the 500 winners and the uh, championship wins. Which, speak of the devil, guys, here's a little look at all the other champion cars. We have Ryan Hunter Race 2012, uh, IZOD Championship, Will Powers 2014, uh, Scott Dixon's uh, 2015, and the recent uh, former champion, uh, Simon Pagano, which, keep an eye on that car because we might do a comparison on this car. But um, if you take a look, guys, uh, the packaging does look pretty similar, almost exact to uh, Simon Pagano's packaging. So, it just, just some different placement of the logos, but pretty much the same as we'll be looking onto the back, guys. See right there, if you guys want to uh, pause this video and read all this information, that's pretty cool. But you see Justin Newgarden celebrating and get the Aster Cup. Great job, well done for Justin Newgarden. Definitely um, one of the great rising stars in the Verizon IndyCar series. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and we'll take a closer look at the Joseph Newgarden Hum Car. I admit, man, Chrome is definitely the new bling when it comes to the Verizon IndyCar series. When it comes to James Hinchcliffe or any of those uh, Schmidt cars and now even the Penske cars, these are just absolutely beautiful. Welcome to the diecast for you guys as we're going to get a closer look at this diecast for your 2017 Verizon IndyCar Series champion, Joseph Newgarden. And right off the bat guys, besides this beautiful livery that we got, even though it's kind of inaccurate, but I still kind of like that Greenlight does this, even though it's very inaccurate, look at these red Firestone tires. The Firestone reds are back and definitely better than ever guys. I mean, this is the only third time that we've had this happen. Um, for the green light collectibles for the for the DW12 slash um, Arrow kit era we had it back then uh, the last time we had it was with Simon Pagano in 2014 with his Grand Prix winner in the Oculus car if you guys remember that um, And we also have uh, this car I do not have but I'm probably gonna get it at my good friends at Gutsware Takuma Sato's 2013 Long Beach win so really cool that they still do that even though um, it is severely inaccurate I mean because this is on the oval configure uh, uh, on the oval arrow kit, and Greenlight Collectibles only makes the oval version. Which don't know why. I mean, they're putting a lot of effort into uh, these new arrow kits. Um, I mean, they, they put a lot of effort in getting the 2018 diecast right away with the new mold, and it looks absolutely fantastic. But you know, the Indy 500 so market is so you know marketable, and they make a lot of profit out of this mold. So that's the reason why they use only the oval configuration on this car, even though majority of the IndyCar series runs on street courses and road courses. But that's just a little bit of my pet peeve, guys. As you see right there, lots of cool details. We got the Team Penske logo right below the airbox and some silver trim around the rain lights, which looks really cool. And man, and we got the chrome suspension parts. I mean, it's not as a, a shite and briny, like shite, shine bright like a diamond <laughs> on um, the... Um, 118 version which actually has real metal guys i mean i don't know if the 164 um has real metal or not but um these rims i believe on the 118 it's actually real metal guys uh i can't really tell i mean they kind of feel rigid so maybe they are real metal but i feel like it's plastic but still really makes the car uh, you know pop out and i absolutely love that um, I'm glad Team Penske, you know, has, has you know kept that for quite a while. Even though we've had this, uh, we've had the, 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 you know, these chrome rims for quite a while now, dating back, you know, to you know back to the DW12 days, guys, or more. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I do got to say that there's one little error that I have right here, and it has to do with quality control. Now the decals are fine on this, but 
The bumper pod is kind of screwed up right here. I mean, you can always push it inward, but these are plastic, so they are going to break pretty easily. But that's what we expect on the 164s, guys. So, yeah, it does look slanted, especially if you want to do that iconic spotter guide of you. And another thing, this is a first. I don't think anybody's got this error yet, as far as I know. But look how much play there is on my Airflex, guys. And uh, there's something on my diecast as well. It looks like a hair or something. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I tried to brush that hair off, but luckily the air flake didn't brush off as well. But yeah, these air flakes are loose, so I have not seen this before. Luckily, this is the last 2017 164 that we're getting for um, for green lights. But man, for nine bucks, I would expect a lot more. But I can't argue without a doubt, this is still a really cool looking car. And another thing I noticed, guys, usually on the championship cars, I mean, they've only had this back in 2015 when they had uh, this new mold. They're usually a number one right here to determine. Um, um the champion however though joseph newgarden did not want the sonoma race so just for anybody to point that out because they're like why is it not number one right there because you can see right here on the sign pagano car it's on there and it's also on the uh scott dixon 2015 car but that's the reason why pagano did want the race but joseph newgarden won the championship so it was a win-win for team penske even though i wanted pagano to win, win so bad because you guys know i'm a sign pagano fan but still pretty cool to see Joseph Newgarden go out and get the victory for Team Penske. Um, right step in the great direction for this guy and really just hoping that we can go out and um, see what else he can do. But a um, quick look at all these sponsors we got right there. Look at that nice teal. I love the teal in this car, man. It really just makes the car look a lot more better. And I believe this is also similar to the livery that he drove at the Indianapolis 500, regardless of not having the middle light logos right here because I believe they were they uh, they, they, they were on the Air Flicks. But... Um, of course they can't really do that on the 164s but then again we had a fuzzy's vodka car produced in 2016 so the possibilities are endless and they had no base man green light collectibles such a great company right if only their quality control was a little better and uh we actually got also another thing to point out the verizon p1 pole award sticker which is actually from 2017 it's not an error like we had from sign pagano or from juan montoya's uh, indy 500 win so yeah plus i did saw the 118 review supplied by david land so yeah but, man, I, I don't really know what else to say about this car besides we're going to be doing a diecast comparison, which is on your former champion from the Rise IndyCar series, Simon Pagano, guys. So here, right here, we got the two Team Penske champions back-to-back -back, along with Will Power. But I see right there, I mean, uh, livery-wise, I mean, how the paint schemes are laid out, pretty much the same. I mean, uh, Ro the, the captain, Roger Penske, always likes to have very uniform paint schemes like, you know, I always like to say... And, you know, it really is cool because, you know, I do like their paint scene layouts. Well, besides 2015. 2015 was a wonky year because we had this new aero kit car. But the paint, the, the uh, liveries have got a lot more better. And you can see right there, we got Hum right there as well. So maybe another good reason why I decided to do a comparison because this is the only other car I know that has the Hum sponsorship. And, uh, yeah, guys, so feel free to comment below which diecast you like a little bit more. I know the silver trim is not actually on the uh, Pagano card, so that's pretty interesting. And there is the other side of the two diecast. And maybe, why not go ahead and do a diecast comparison on the uh, New Garden Verizon car from this year. Ironically, well, yeah, I'm going to say right off the bat, this is the Juan Montoya's car, but the delivery is literally the exact same thing. So I didn't even bother getting New Garden's car. So let's just, you know, make believe and say this is New Garden's Verizon car. But you can see right there, that's the uh, sponsor blocker looks pretty odd with no sponsor on it. Luckily, those are gone in 2018. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, the back looks pretty similar. And what do you know, guys? This side's the same as the other side. So if I had to recommend getting this car, I say it is definitely the best looking Joseph New car, Newgarden car that we got for this year. I mean, the Verizon car is cool. But this car is pretty notorious. I mean, he won in this uh, livery a couple times. Most notably at Barber Motorsports Park. And... You know what, guys? Go out and get this diecast. It's definitely worth it, and I'm really looking forward to uh, the 2018 diecast. I do got some coming out very shortly, guys, so stay tuned. We're going to be talking more about Team Penske in these next few videos. But this is going to wrap up the diecast review of Simon, of uh, not Simon Paginos. Holy crap, this is going to be a bad review. Joseph Newgarden 2017 Hum by Verizon uh, Championship car. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review, and feel free to hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and we'll see you guys on the next uh, IndyCar Diecast Review.